You can pat yourself on the... Well, now you're... Fallout 3, very hard difficulty guide for Mothership Zeta with all weapons and the Alien Archivist achievement and the one perk. Um, this is actually take two of this. I had to spend 30 minutes on a 15 minute section, which was uh, very monotonous. And, uh, if you don't know what that word is, uh, look it up. Um, this area is very simple, but the game fucking glitched on me. And, I mean, I could have gone on but I would be totally discrediting what the title of this video is, which is a getting every single weapon. And there aren't any weapons in the hangar bay, but Paulson has a unique outfit and a unique magnum. And in order for me to get that, I have to be able to lose his body. Um, and I'll explain more uh, coming up here, but um, short story short, or long story short, um his body glitched and disappeared when he died so couldn't get his weapon had to record it all over again didn't make a save because I'm stupid anyway right here there's a, there's the alien ship was at, that was at the uh, alien crash site uh, don't get next to these pylons I don't know if anything happens if you do get too close but you know it's one of those things you never know want to know what happens and if you do know what happens post it below don't and if you're gonna post it below, please don't post it once and then again and then again and again and again and again and again. Cause that's what happened with prototype, except to a very larger degree. Anyway, right here, you can get some nice critical shots and um I just started to feel the effects of the ninja perk, which made the MPLX dev or uh Nova Surge extremely powerful because it has a critical multiplier of 3, which I think its base damage is like 90 or something, and then you multiply that by 3, which gives it 270 times .25, which, pulling up my calculator because I can't do very large division or multiplication by myself, that would give you a damage of... 338 for the critical strike, which is about 100 less than the metal blaster if every single hit shot hit with a critical sneak attack. So, that's pretty damn nice. Anyway, aside from that, get the MPLX Nova Surge if anything. Well, what do you? I was trying to see here if I could give him stem packs because this is my second playthrough and the first time he died. And there was no, like, can we trade inventories like you can with any other follower. And um, later on, I tried to reverse pickpocket stem packs into his inventory. And this is one of the things that it doesn't make sense in Fallout. Let's say that you wanted to put on, or if you wanted to give somebody armor, any armor, if you want to give them armor, you lose karma for giving them that armor. So anyway, there's one alien up here, very weak, very easy to kill. I highly suggest as soon as you kill him, and as soon as you get up here, you uh, activate the alarm, which you'll see me do here in a second. Because once you get up here, it automatically triggers the enemies. Oh yeah, and there's two little healing things in here. Um, I went ahead and made a save, which I would highly, highly suggest, just in case it like glitches. Alright, here it is. Try to give him stem packs, you know, help him out, something like that. Nope. You are a bad person for attempting to do so. And he catches me. If I'm trying to give you something that isn't harmful, why? Why does it give me negative karma? I don't know. It's stupid. Anyway, there are um, at least two drones up here. One's a guardian. Its weapon was backwards. It's glitch. It fixes itself. I think they're just... Yeah, they're just two drones. One's a something, whatever. So once you hit that button, it activates... 
waves. And I sped this up here three, no, four times. And I... All you basically do here is go crouched with Chinese stealth armor, preferably, and just start tapping the A button constantly. I it, It's so fucking monotonous. It doesn't make any sense. This is it four times, and I'm just sitting here going back and forth, because if you do this, you, this can even be done on consoles. It's so fucking easy. And sorry for the cursing, but, you know, just keep sitting here tapping the A button. Yeah. It doesn't take a lot of thought process. And seriously, this is all I did for... Uh, let's see, this was about... I probably spent about 16 minutes total doing this. And if I had fucked up again, I just would have said, screw it, not doing this again. And it, it's being done so flawlessly that no enemies are getting up here. And if enemies do get up here, they have absolutely no health. Because the way this d does is it'll kill any sentry bot... that um, comes up here and any alien its health will be diminished to one bar but it won't be killed so you see me killing the majority of these aliens just one shot and then I have the drone guardian with his um, gra gra grenade launcher and then pulsing with his revolver so nothing can get past us really so it, it's very simple um, but yeah, it's one of the many things of Fallout that doesn't make sense. Why can't I give you something? I mean, you think that if I'm trying to give you armor, you know, you'd be happy. Like, I don't know. Maybe if I wanted to give you a huge minigun? I, I don't think that if you walked up to some guy and said, Hey, do you want this minigun for free? And it works, too. I don't know. Hmm. It's retarded. Okay, so now we're back at normal speed. And once you see that it closes, the little thing right there closes, that's when you know that the um, the door to the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, reactor is open. And a few really weak aliens will flood in here. Very, very simple. One shot of the repeater will indefinitely take them out. Um, if you want to get Paulson's revolver here, you don't have to kill him. In fact, I'm going to wait to kill Toshiro and Paulson until the very end, because they have the two unique armors. And um, I would highly suggest, just because of glitches and unknowns, that you don't follow this walkthrough until I've posted every video. Um, like, for example, if I miss, like... The Chinese stealth, the Chinese, ar uh, Japanese armor or whatever. Because of a glitch of him dying. I, I don't want you to follow it halfway through and then be like, oh shit. So make sure that this guy is finished. So anyway, right here there are some alien power cells, which I suggest you pick up, and a shit ton of crystals. Um, so grab those, of course, because they're worth monies and you can use them for other fun shit. So more aliens can come in. You can close the door. Um, you can close the door um, to the that little switch to my right. You can hit that, and it'll close the door. So, whoa, extreme audio lag. I don't know what's going on there. Ugh, that's bad. Anyway. Sorry about auto lag. Uh, Sony Vegas. Uh, there's been a lot of audio lag. Uh, <laughs> okay, that needs to be edited over, but I'm not. I'm too lazy. Audio <laughs> lag that Sony Vegas causes if you if you split a clip when a sound is being done and you split it at the wrong place. I mean, it chooses when it wants to work and not. It it just decides when it wants to go. Um, unsynced, which is very unfortunate. And then it'll just randomly become resynced. Just get. I'm sorry, it'll uh, resync here in just a second when it switches audio clips. 
right now. And I'm very sorry if it's annoying you. If it annoys people enough, I'll maybe work on fixing it, but it's just a real problem, and it's nothing more than that. Um, if I notice it, I'll try and stop it, but, you know. Very sorry. Other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, try to keep Paulson alive. Um, if you guys want to know the extent of the glitch before the video ended, what happened was is he fell off the railing. He was right on top of the railing when he died, and when he fell, he fell onto the ground, and when I went to grab him, his body was gone.